Hey everybody, thanks for joining me today as we are going to rip open some 2021 Panini Prism Baseball. I've got a mega box here. Um, I bought this mega box off of, I think I bought this one off of Target.com. And I think it was like 50 bucks. Eh, yeah, I mean, it is what it is. You know, the hobby is what it is right now. So, um, just wanted to let you guys know that I like to rip my product up slowly. I like to take my time. I enjoy the process because this hobby is expensive and it is hard to find retail product at retail prices. So I just wanted to let you guys know all that, that I like to take my time and I like to, to, that I like to enjoy the process of ripping cards. And so if you don't want to sit around for all of that, feel free to jump towards you know the last two minutes of the video and I'll do a recap for you all there. So this is my first time opening up a Panini Prism Mega Box. Um, yeah, I mean, let's see what we get. We get 50, 52 cards, right? You get four cards per pack. Oh man, I can't, I can't read that. Let's just rip it open. Let's rip it open. Let's take off this Panini wrap here. All right, so yeah, 52 cards per, per box. Um, let me see, and you get, ooh, on average, one auto per box, you get four cards per pack. So it's a four by 12 product, and you get one bonus pack of 12 cards. So four by 10, sorry, four by 10 product, and then a one by 12 um, bonus pack here. And here are the odds if you're interested in seeing what you could get. All right, and let me see, yeah. So this mega box con contains exclusive Carolina Blue, and pink prisms. These look nice. I like how these look. All right, so let's get a rip in here. So I've opened up a blaster box of 2021 Panini Prism Baseball, and I've opened up um, two cello packs. And if they make hanger, hanger boxes, I'll, I'll pick up that as well. So as you can tell, the box is empty. These compartments are empty as well. Right, let's close this up and yeah, maybe I'll use this box as um part of the backdrop. All right, might as well, huh? Yeah, right there's good. Here are the packs. Let's get the card stands out there. And we'll add a fourth one just for fun. All right, yes, you can see the packs there. Oops. Uh yeah. So, um, let's get ripping here. Um, it's 52 cards, so we'll see. Um, I'm, I'm gonna try to fit this all into one video, but I'm in no rush to get this to fit into one video. So we'll see what happens here. So, um, so it looks like we have four cards. Is this our auto already? I think. It might be our auto, it's flipped backwards. And so I'm gonna save that for last here. We'll put that up there. All right. But yeah, uh, um, do I like Panini Prism Baseball? I think it's okay. Um, I wish it was licensed. I do like how they try really hard to Insert a lot of parallels here for you. Let me give these cards a whiff here. Oh man, prism smells so good, doesn't it, people? Um, but yeah, here's a first card is Lindor, and we got a rookie card of Brandon Bielak. Never heard of him, but we have Freddie Freeman here, part of the best infield in all of baseball. Followed by Kiebert Ruiz. Hey, not too bad. I'll take a rookie card of Kiebert Ruiz. Kiebert is now with the Washington Nationals. Um, and so, I mean, uh, you know, the Dodgers, they didn't really need him. They, they have Will Smith and, oh gosh, blinking out on who their other um, catcher is. But yeah, let me see. So it's right now, today is Sunday, and this video should be coming out on Thursday and Wednesday, hopefully. Um, so
So I'll give you a recap of my day so far. We got Blake Snell here. I wish he was doing better. I think everybody wishes San Diego pitchers were doing better. Oh, we got two rookie cards here too. We got Blake Snell, followed by Alec Manoa. He's good. I like him. And Mitchell White. Mitchell White. I've not heard of Mitchell White. And we got a champion stage of Corey Seager. All right. Not too bad. I know Manoa's good. I like him. I like Toronto. I I in I always flip back and forth between being um, a Red Sox fan and being a Blue Jays fan, right? I, like I never like I guess whoever's winning, you know. But I mean that's not like a division I really care about. More than anything, I just want to see who's beating um, the Yankees. So. I, I, Hopefully that kind of makes sense. I'll, I'll expand on that. Ooh, we got a green parallel back here. Okay, we got Tucker Davidson rookie card. And we got, ooh, we got a Vlad. Vlad will go into my player PC. And we got another rookie card. Holy cow, this mega box has been really good so far. And it's a Seth Romero. All right. And our green parallel. Hold up. It looks like it's a batter, which is good. Please be a rookie. Nope, it is a ooh, Nelson Cruz. I'm happy for Nelly, man. I'm a. I live in Minnesota, so I'm a Twins fan. I wasn't born here, but I like Nelly. He's just such a good guy, man. He's like what, 42? I hope he comes back to the Twins. Um, but at the same time, the Twins don't really need him anymore. So I don't know. We'll see. I'll put this up here. Nelly hit a home run the other day too for the Tampa Bay Rays. Oh, gosh, did the Rays win today? I don't know. I don't know who won. I think the Red Sox won today. I think Verdugo hit like this. Was it a game-winning home run? Or I forget. But, yeah. Um, I was mainly watching football today and doing homework. So, and the Bears won. I'm originally from Chicago, so I'm gonna skip over Nolan because he's a he's a Cardinal. Mike Yastrzemski. I like the Giants as well. And our rookie card is a Christian Pache. I like that. And behind Christian is ooh a Lumber Incorporated of Juan Soto. I like that. That's nice. Uh, Christian Pache. I, at first, I wasn't too sure how to pronounce his name, but um. I think his last name is, I think it's got like a French origin to it, even though he was born, I think from the Dominican Republic. I don't, I forget where he was born from, born in, um, and more than likely, wherever he was from got colonized. And so, um, maybe got colonized by the French, maybe, I don't know, could be wrong. Um, and so I think Pache is pronounced like that, Pache. All right, ooh, we got a bunch of rookies. This is a good pack here. We got Luis Garcia, he's doing pretty good. For Houston, followed by Will Crow of Pittsburgh. And our insert is a Buster Posey. Buster Posey, sorry about that. Let me let me sleep up this Garcia first before I damage it here. I know Garcia is doing solid. He was doing good last year too. Let's see. let's look at his stats here. Yeah, you know, low whip, twelve innings. That's not too bad. Well, he had a game start too. I didn't even know that. Yeah, Luis Garcia. And behind Buster Posey, we've got a silver, uh, Zach Plesac. Very nice. I'll sleep up silvers. You never know. You never know. All right, let me, let me go packs. I've opened up one, two, three, four, five, six packs so far. And I've got a lot more to go through. But you know what? I I think I'll, I'll, I'll hurry up and try to go through this whole box here. I mean, it'll be, it might be like a 30 minute long video, but we'll see. Ooh, Andrew Vaughn, nice. I'm going to sleeve him up. Behind Andrew, we've got Diego Garcia. Put them there, there. Put them right there. 
Andrew Vaughn. Man, I'm hoping... I've got a lot of these young White Sox players in my collection. So, I mean, if they could win the World Series, that'd be great. Diego Garcia. Mike Piazza. And our insert is uh, Freddie Freeman. Not too bad. So, I'm like halfway done. How am I liking this so far? It's not too bad. I have seen worse, but I am liking my rookies so far. I mean, I like the Pache and the Andrew Vaughn. And we have Taylor Jones here. Followed by Will Craig. Oh, what is this? Um, that looks like it's a ch like a weird checkerboard. So I'm going to go to the last card. First, I've got a Sam Huff rookie card. Not too bad. Hopefully Sam gets some more playing time this upcoming year. I'm going to move Nelly over here. Put Sam there. So what are these? I don't know what these are. It's like, um... To me, I know in tops, these are called what? Um, uh, they're called like x fractor <laughs> parallels, right? x fractor parallels. But for Panini, I don't know what they're called. This is, ooh, a shirt and apostle. That's pretty nice. Wow, you look at that. Come on, Shurton. Man, Shurton and Leody Tavares and Sam Huff, if all those guys could just make the that Rangers team relevant, that would be awesome. That's a really nice card. It looks like it's fairly centered on left to right. Just based upon those grids. Top to bottom. I can't it's hard it's hard for me to see the dimples. Usually I count the dots, but it's hard to see here. I don't know. It's hard to say. Ooh, dude, that's nice. That's probably my best card so far. Anyway, right, I'll move Nelly down. I'm going to put shirts in there. Um, let me move these down with my auto. I want to see what kind of card that is. I don't know what they would call that. Kaleidoscope? Mojo? Plaid? I have no idea. Let's not waste our time. We got bunch of more packs to open up. Let me put my auto back up here. All right. And I'm trying a new audio setup here too. I'm trying to use my mic that I use for recording music. And I'm running that into Ableton to see if, if that's a good idea or not. Oh, very nice. We got a Bobby Dahlbeck here. Behind him, we've got DJ LeMayhew. Very nice. Bobby's a good card. Um, let me see who we're gonna move. We're gonna move Sam Huff down. We'll put Doll back up there. LeMayhew. Ooh, Randy Johnson for the PC. And behind Randy, we've got Jorge Guzman. Jorge Guzman. Are you a starting pitcher? That does not look like it. And you are cut off center. That's okay. I'll take ya. I'm glad that's rookie. All right, so we're gonna open up. This is the last pack. Man, I think this might be the fastest I've ever opened up cards on this channel here. I don't know. I don't know what it is. It might be because I've got a bunch of stuff I gotta do because I'm leaving for a funeral on Tuesday and it's Sunday night, or it might be because I'm not a huge, huge fan of Prism Baseball. We'll see. There's Ozzy Smith, which is nice, and the rookie behind is Chris Bubik. We've got an insert here of Fearless Chris Bryant for the Cubs PC. And we've got an emergent, which is nice, of Nolan Gorman. Nolan Gorman. Very nice. I'm gonna put that in the rookie pile. Cause I don't I don't know if he's playing. I don't know if that's a rookie card or if it's like a second year type of card, but I'll put it in and kind of like that rookie pile. All right, so this is the 12 card bonus pack. Oh, I just saw something nice on the back. I saw one of those stained glass cards. So before we look at these, let's give these cards a whiff because, oh man, whoo. Prism just smells so good. We got a Francisco Lindor, 
followed by a Blake Snell. I feel like I'm I've seen these cards. Uh, let me see. Yeah, I'll sleep these up. So you, I only got three blue prisms, which is interesting. All right, behind Blake, we got Randy Johnson. Yes, I love Randy. Randy's one of my all-time favorite pitchers, man. So he's gonna go into my PC. So wait, 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 before we do that, behind Randy, we've got Luis Castillo. Very nice. The blue. So I got four blues. Oh, that's okay. Messed up the corners there, probably, but that's okay. This card's going into my PC, anyways. To my Randy Johnson PC. Just in case you're wondering how good he was. Yeah, that's crazy. Almost had 5,000 Ks. That's pretty crazy. All right, now we're going into. We are done with the, what are these called? Carolina Blue Prisms. Now we're going into the Pink Prism Parallels here. Let's see here. We've got, our first one is a rookie card of Tanner Houck. Not too bad. Let me sleeve up Luis. This video is gonna be about 20 minutes long, which isn't too bad. Behind Tanner Houck, we've got David Peterson, another rookie card, not too bad. I forget that the base set is only like a, I think there's like a hundred cards or something. Hold up, let me double check that. It'll say right here, 250 card set, 100 base, 100 tier two, 50 tier three. It's like, how do you know what tier it is? Hold up, now I'm interested. I gotta move my auto up there first. So let me see if I look on the back. Does it say tier one, tier two? No, nah, it doesn't. I don't know. But behind David Peterson, we've got more pink parallels. It's a rookie of hey, Ryan Weathers. Not too bad. Wish he did better as well. Because I would love to see Tatis and all those young guys on that team in the playoffs. Ryan Weathers. And Ryan Weathers, we've got Garrett Cole. Man, he got lit up, um, which sucks. But I mean, it's baseball. That's why you want to avoid the wild card. Garrett Cole. Behind Garrett Cole, we've got Jacob Degrom, two of New York's best pitchers. All right. Behind Degrom, we've got. Come on now. Tyler Glass now, who hopefully comes back and is ready to go next year. Shoot, man. I mean, I think if Glass now was healthy, the Rays would have like 104 wins. That's just my opinion here. Behind Tyler Glass now, we got a rookie card. Oh, Jorge Ona. Very nice. I do not, I don't think I've heard of his name. But, I mean, I like Padres rookies right now because Padres are hot team um all right and behind jorge orna i'm excited because it is a stained glass card and it's a yes oh my goodness oh my goodness people holy freaking cow Oh my goodness. Freaking Mike Trout. Let's give him some TLC here. Oh man. I saw the back when I was opening it up and I saw this stained glass stuff and I was like, oh, it's a stained glass card. Who's it going to be? Mookie Betts? I don't know. And I, I didn't want to jinx myself, so I didn't want to say. Mike Trout. I wonder if those are like printing errors there. Those marks there. I didn't want to jinx myself and say it's a Mike Trout. But. Oh. My goodness. Oh my goodness. You gotta give me, gotta give me a top loader here. I can't believe I got a 
pink parallel of a stained glass mic trout. Well, I'm gonna use these. These are awesome. I love these. If you never, if you don't know that these exist, these are awesome. These are way better than team bags. Um, these are called perfect fits for top loaders. I love these. Right? Because then you take it. Should I put it this way or the other way? I'll put it this way. Right? And look at look look how tight that fit is. Right with team bags, you have like another like maybe two millimeters on this side and this side, and then eventually over time, like the card gets all like wrinkly on the sides and it's it's really annoying. But with these perfect fits, whoo! Look at that! Holy cow, guys! I can't believe I got this. That's freaking amazing. I'm gonna actually move past Shay down since he's no longer my best card. I think Shurton's better. I think I think I like Mike Vaughn. I mean Andrew Vaughn a little more than Bobby Dahlbeck. But holy cow, guys! Can't believe it. Oh, we got to sleeve up Orna here. Ona, I mean Jorge Ona. I don't even know what position he plays. Probably an outfielder. Yeah. Lucky guess. Trevor Story. Behind Trevor, we got a rookie of Keddy, Kyle Cody. I'm gonna, I'm gonna reveal the back card first. It's a silver slugger or slugger of Juan Soto. Sweet, that's a sweet card. I love these slugger cards. Oh man, all right. So here's, a, I mean, 50 bucks and you're guaranteed one auto. So let's see who we got here. Um, is this the back of the card? I can't tell, I think that's the back of the card. So I don't know how I'm gonna do this. You know, I think we'll just flip the card over We'll see what we got. All right, you guys ready? Three, two, one. It's a rookie of, hey, Rafael Marcon. This is freaking hilarious because it's funny. This is funny because I think I've only opened up like, I think I've only ripped open like five or six rookie uh, autographs this year. And this is my second Raphael Marcon autograph. <laughs> I think I have, um, I think I've got like a Panini Absolute autograph of uh, Raphael Marcon. Um, and so this is my second autograph. I hope he does awesome. I hope he blows up and it's just absolutely amazing. You never know. I mean, the Phillies team is a solid team. I don't know much about Marcon. Um, but I mean, hopefully he does well. I'm gonna grab another one of these. My new favorite product here. Way better than team bags if you'd like to sleeve up your top load, top loaders. But yeah, that's just funny. That's awesome. I mean, you know, for 50 bucks, and you're guaranteed an auto. I don't know. If you're okay with it being unlicensed, then I guess it's fine. But if you're one of those people that likes licensed stuff only and want high end stuff, like I get it. Like you don't want you don't want trash, right? And like this box could have been trash, but it wasn't. This box was not trash. I'm gonna put Shirton in a top loader too. Cause I know he deserves it. Especially this, this, I don't know what kind of parallel this is. If you guys know what kind of parallel this is, let me know, cause I have no clue. No clue at all. Put the auto right there for now. But holy cow guys, can't believe it. This is the card I am most excited for. A 2021 Panini Prism stained glass pink parallel of Mike Trout. Yeah, I can't believe it, guys. Holy cow. Um, this set, I still give it, I still give this set like a C minus D plus because it's not licensed. 
and it is expensive. Um, this box, this box, I'm gonna have to give this box an A. Um, just because of that Mike Trout there. I mean, look at it. Look at that rainbow effect in the stained glass. Dude, that looks beautiful. Like, this might be a set that, like, totally worth collecting. I think out of all of the Panini Prism parallels and cards, collect the autos and try to collect those stained glass cards, man. Those look freaking beautiful. All right. Well, guys, um, it's getting late. And I just want to thank you guys for uh, watching me rip and ramble on about these cards and the hobby. You know, I greatly appreciate it. And if you could, please give this video a thumbs up. I mean, give it a thumbs up for that pink parallel Mike Trout, all right? Because of Mike Trout, give it a thumbs up, right, people? And if you could, click on the subscribe button and on the bell so that you can be, so that you will be notified when I upload more videos, right? And so just, Remember guys, this hobby is amazing. It's an amazing hobby and I hope you guys are enjoying it and I hope you all are um, able to get your hands on some retail product at retail prices and I hope you guys are, are, are pulling amazing cards as well. Amazing cards just like this beautiful Mike Trout right there. So you take care of yourself, all right? Take care of your mental health, your physical health, eat well, and I'll see you in the next video.